Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy Note 10. I'm gonna show you how to screen mirror your Note 10 to any smart TV wirelessly, okay? It's very, very simple. So first thing you gotta do is make sure that your smart TV is on. Set, second thing to note is that it has nothing to do, the connection has nothing to do with a home Wi-Fi network, okay? Even though it's a Wi-Fi direct, it's a direct connection from the phone to the TV. If you wanna be able to put something onto the big screen, like a web browser, or you wanna do a Skype call and it requires internet, the internet is gonna be used from the phone. So you can use your mobile data or you can use your home Wi-Fi network, okay? So first thing, put your TV on. And then with the phone here, the thing is, you do have to have your Wi-Fi on, okay? So let me put this on. You just have to turn this on. You don't necessarily have to be connected to a home Wi-Fi network unless you want to use your home wide net Wi-Fi network to um, to use like internet. But even if uh, you don't have a connected to home Wi-Fi network, you can use your mobile data. Or if you don't have mobile data or home Wi-Fi network, you can still do a direct connection mirror, but you just can't surf the internet. However, you'll be able to do things like uh, show your videos and photo photos, uh, work documents that are stored locally on the phone. Anyways, how you do this is very, very simple. You just want to go ahead and scroll down. And then with the little horizontal line here, you want to scroll down again, and then you want to swipe to the left, and you want to look for not screen mirror, but they call it smart view, okay? So, and here's smart view right here, okay? So swipe left, and here's smart view. So tap on smart view, and then let it find it. Okay, here, this is a Samsung TV right here. Let me tap on that, and it should connect right away, and there we go. Now, the first time you connect to it, you'll get a little message on your smart TV somewhere, depending on what model you have, it'll ask, if you accept the screen mirror, your Note 10 to that particular TV, you just grab your remote and select OK. That's the first time you connect to it. Obviously, I've connected to this Samsung TV like many times. And of course, you know, you can go ahead. I mean, whatever you show on here is going to show on the big screen here. So if I wanted to go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and browse the Internet here. I'll just bring up Chrome, turn it into landscape here. We can go ahead and scroll down. Of course, I can zoom in and out. Uh, I can show work documents, PowerPoints, even videos and photos I, I have stored locally here. So if I have friends and family over and I want to show them a bunch of photos and videos on my phone here, I can show them. Here's a video here. When I play the video, the, the volume will come out from the TV, not the phone. Okay, so let me press on play. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. And now, but I can increase and decrease the volume from my phone there phone as well but again the volume does come out from the TV and let me show you a photo here here's a photo here and of course we can zoom in and out as well now the only thing I got to say is with the uh, wireless connection if you're playing games and stuff like that you may have some latency like a fraction of a second if you want it less latency you can always go ahead and grab yourself one of these cables here this is a uh, USB type C to HDMI cable something like this you basically hook one part up to the HDMI port on the back of your TV in the USB type C you simply just go ahead and plug that right into your uh, note 10 and then it'll give you a um, you'll be able to mirror using a cable here but it is less latency so anyways there you guys go any questions or anything just comment below thanks for watching guys bye